Hey what's up guys, this is my review of the liquid smooth ROM for the Nexus 5. So to install this ROM you must be rooted and should have a custom recovery installed. You can use a root toolkit to do so and you also get a bunch of tutorials online. For the installation method you can hit link 1 from the description. So without any further ado let's go ahead and have a closer look at this ROM. First of all this is one of my favorite ROM for the Nexus 5 as you get a ton of options to customize with a lot of unique features. Starting with the lock screen, we get this transparent lock screen. No matter what you are using on your phone, once you lock your device and then unlock it, you get that particular background on your lock screen. For example, let's launch the app drawer and now lock the device. Now waking it up, you can see that uh, we have this app drawer on the background. So you might like it or you might not, but you can enable or disable this feature and I find this feature really unique. Also you get all your notifications right on your lock screen. But the cool thing here is that if you swipe the notification to the right, it stays at this corner for later access so that you don't forget your important notifications. And swiping it to the left will clear the notification. You also get this cool battery charging animation while charging. I will come to the customizations in a bit. Since the ROM is based on Android 4.4.2 KitKat, you get all the goodies from it. Talking about the performance, the ROM is very very stable, fast and smooth. I'm using this ROM for more than a month now and it's amazing. You don't get a lot of pre-installed apps, all the regular Google apps and all the apps that you get with this ROM works perfectly fine without any issues. All the camera features including Photosphere works great. All the basic functionalities like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, etc. Everything works perfectly fine. The overall experience using this ROM as my daily driver is truly great with all its customization options on top of Android 4.4.2. The battery life is also pretty good. Standby time is amazing, definitely better than the stock Android 4.4.2. Overall the battery life is really decent. The multitasking UI looks really nice, somewhat very similar to that of the HTC Sense 5. Here you can swipe up or down to close any app, else hit this button to clear all the background running apps. Now let's move on to settings and get to customizations. On top, we get the regular connectivity options. Below that we have got general settings for this ROM. Starting with interface, here you have options to customize your clock widget, that is the default clock widget. You can choose what contents to be displayed on that widget. Power menu options for adding additional functions when long pressing the power button. Over here by default you get 4 options. So let me add something new. So hitting this plus button. And here you get a list of actions. So adding screenshot. Now long pressing the home button and there you go. You have this screenshot option. You can also change the text color, icon color etc for the power menu shortcuts from this style tab progress bar customization options etc. You also have this feature called gestures anywhere. This means you can create your own gesture to perform any action. You also can choose the location from where you can draw the gesture. You can adjust the width, position etc. So from gestures you can add and remove your gestures. As you can see I have kept C for camera. Similarly you can add your own gesture say for example hit add gesture and then you need to select an action. Say I want to launch an app. Now choose the app and create your gesture. As you can see here. Now on the home screen, swiping it from the left. And here you have this panel where you can draw this gesture. There you go. You also have this awesome DPI changing options. And this is totally safe to try. Next you have is lock screen. Lock screen interface customizations like slider shortcuts. That is you can directly launch those apps from the lock screen. Slider torch, that is if you hold the unlock button on the lock screen, you can launch your torch. You have additional options for notification customizations, pocket mode, wake on notifications, background transparency and color for notifications etc. Under style you have this something called see through. This is the transparent lock screen that I have already shown you at the beginning of this video. You can enable this or disable it. Blur background, blur radius that is the amount of blurness, frame color, lock color, dots color etc. 
So this is extreme level of customizations as you can customize the dots on the lock screen as you can see here. Similarly, you have options to customize your default widgets that you get with Android 4.4.2. Additional options like battery around ring, that is, you know, you'll get your battery percentage displayed around the lock screen, as in the unlock button, battery status, menu unlock, etc. Under navigations, you can customize your navigation bar or the keys. Since you have Pi controls with this ROM, you can enable or disable the navigation buttons. From buttons, you can customize the navigation keys. You can rearrange the keys. You can add additional keys like say menu and screenshot. And here you have it. Now you can rearrange it as well. Plus you can change the glow color, icon color, etc. Under performance, you get all the info about the processors, memory, etc. Do not mess around with these settings. From status bar, you can customize your status bar like the status bar color, battery icon, double tap to sleep, that is if you double tap your notification bar, the device will be automatically locked, notification count, etc. Next, we have active display settings. Enabling this will give you additional options like notification text, pocket mode, that is your display won't go on while it's in your pocket when you receive a notification, sunlight mode, etc. Notification drawer, that is to customize your notification panel, you can add additional toggles, choose transparency levels, etc. Pi controls, that is self-explanatory, you can enable Pi controls, you have options to customize the buttons, that is, uh, you know, you can customize the shortcuts on the Pi, style and dimensions, trigger options, etc. Wake lock blocker is if you want to prevent your device from waking up when you receive a notification from certain apps like alarm, Facebook messenger, etc. Total blackout is for a complete saturated black user interface, as you can see the difference here. Apart from that, you have all the regular settings. So guys, you know, I have not fully mentioned all the customization options because, you know, it will take a lot of time explaining all the features. But I'm pretty sure if you play around with this ROM, you can find a lot of cool features. Plus this ROM is stable, you can use this ROM as your daily driver. So that's all for this review. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great time.